Good afternoon, MJ. Welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. We've got a lot in store for you guys today, including news about today's severe weather chances, our basketball teams, and prom. Welcome back. I'm Ryan. And I'm Shannon. Today is National Skip the Straw Day. Do you skip the straw, Shannon? What does that even mean? It's like drinking out of the side of the cup instead of using a straw. Oh, I mean, sometimes. It just depends on the drink and where I'm at. Well, one thing we can't skip is weather with our weather girl, Sabrina. Hey, MJ. It's Sabrina. It's so nice out right now, I would highly recommend having class outside if possible. It will reach a perfect 78 degrees this afternoon. There may be severe thunderstorms at around 7 or 8 this evening. Tomorrow, it will feel more like February with the temperature only reaching 46 degrees in the afternoon. It will reach 55 on Sunday and there's no chance of rain over the weekend. Peaking ahead the next week, it will probably rain on Monday and Wednesday. It will reach 59 degrees on Monday, 72 on Tuesday, 65 on Wednesday, and the rest of the week will have highs in the upper 50s. There's widespread warmth right now in the eastern U.S., but in the Midwest, there's a winter storm. Winter storm quid is expected to produce over a foot of snow in the mountains of Wyoming and parts of the Corn Belt from northern Nebraska into Wisconsin. Thunder snow is likely and blizzard conditions are possible as well. I'm Sabrina, keeping you in the know for all of your weather news. Back to you guys. Thanks, Sabrina. If you're missing your best friend today, they may be at Loveland High School. Yeah, the Wilson County Honor Band is there all day today. Now let's toss it to Abby and Tyler with trending news. Hey, MJ, I'm Abby. I'm Tyler of your trending news. Prom tickets are being sold today before and after school and be sold until March 31st. Palm Beach Hill on April 29th at the Music City Center starting at 7 o'clock. Tickets are $75 for a single ticket and $150 for a couple. However, if you bring your student ID, the cost goes down to $70 for a ticket, $140 for a couple. If your date does not go to school, you need to fill out a form. Even if they are a high school student or in college, if they do not go here, you will need to complete this. You will pick up an info packet from the prom meeting and the comments and file all the people. You should receive your prom tickets three days after you turn in the envelope. Seniors, if you are doing the senior walk, you will need to fill out a form as well. The graduation fees are due at 75 until March 9th, and the price goes up to 85 after that. You will need to turn in your money to Miss Teresa Hill in room B126. You will need to get that in as soon as possible. If you're having some issues being able to pay that, please talk to Miss Hill. The manager of the theater just needs help with makeup for their upcoming play. Their play is Phantom of the Opera. If you're interested in helping, go to the hospitality room after school on Mondays for more info on how you can help. Auditions for Senior Night are on February 27th, the 28th, and March 3rd. They'll be held in room B129, so if you want to be an announcer or show our class your talents, you will need to attend this. Seniors, we have 86 days left until graduation. Hang in there. That's all for your training news. Back to you guys. Thanks, guys. In other news, Singing Valentine's will be delivered during third block today. And somebody better have bought me one. Yeah, we'll see about that. Let's kick it over to Jonas with your sports update. What's going on, MJ? Tonight we have a big game for our Mount Juliet Lady Bears basketball team as they look to face Clarksville here at the Cave. It's the first round of regional play, and winning this game will advance it to the second round. But losing kicks us out for good. The boys also have a winner go home game tomorrow when they travel to Springfield for their first round opponent in regionals. The student section has been nothing but great all year, and tonight and tomorrow's games need to be no different. We need all the support we can get so we can have both games feel like home. For the entire bracket of where all the teams stand, you can check out the TSSAA website. Playoffs also begin for the hockey team, as our MJ squad looks to begin this upcoming Wednesday. The team finished 13-3 and finished first in their division. Congratulations on a great year so far. That's all your sports news. I'm Jonas. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jonas. So how about that power outage? Yeah, that was crazy. Those hallways were pretty eerie. I felt like I was purged. <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, let's toss it to On Point Friday. Welcome back to On Point Friday. We've been hearing really great comments from everyone. Thanks for the support. This week's celebrity is Mr. New Money, the first male OPF. 
Without further ado, let's get started. This week's celebrity OPF is... It's Gucci! Congrats, Gucci! That's all for this week's OPF. See you next Friday. And now for trivia. Welcome back to Battle of the Classes. I'm Caroline. And I'm Julia. This week's question was, what is the sleepiest animal in the world? And the answer was a koala bear, which gets roughly 22 hours of sleep. Let's take a look and see how the classes did. Trivia. You ready? So the question is, what is the sleepiest animal in the world? It gets about 22 hours a day. Correct. Advancing to the final round are Knights to St. McGee, Cinco number 15, and King of the Hill. As trivia is wrapping up, we just want to thank all the teams that played and made the game fun. That's all for this week's trivia, and don't forget, stay classy, MJ. MJ. This week's trivia, and I did it again. <laughs> okay. okay, it's like <laughs> I'm like a teenage boy. It's fine. <laughs> and lastly, your word of the day. Are you tired of that annoying dad bod? Are you on a strict Cheeto diet? Well, I have a solution for you. Come with me and you'll get fit quick. <laughs> See, it's always good to start off slow with a slow jog. But you want to build up your speed quick, like this. Watch me. Gotta go fast! Yo, Jacob, dude, what's wrong? Oh, man, what's wrong? Dude, I don't know if I can do this video. I'm so. What do, you... <laughs> what do you mean you don't know if you can do this I'm video? I'm too fat for this, man. I need water. What? Hello? Let's do parkour. Thanks for watching WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Shannon. And I'm Ryan. Here at WBNN, we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day, MJ. Hey, MJ, I'm... Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> wow. Woo! You talked to right Yep. Did we? Did we? I don't think you did. I was... Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. I did sports. No, you didn't. Oh, that's what I... Dang it. I was wondering. I was like, this, this sounds really short.